you a question. Um, how important do you think in this time it was for you to know the strengths of your team? Oh, goodness, yes. No, that was that was crucial and critical because, you know, in a in a high speed target oriented uh, state in which we normally execute on, on a whole um, really a bouquet of of uh, projects mm. uh, simultaneously, the achievers, and we have two achievers in the team, the achievers flourish because they've got their lists and they've got their targets and they, they know they're going and they, they're finishing their targets and they're nice and goal-oriented. Mm. And all of a sudden the pace is a bit slower. We don't have the deadlines that we usually have. We still have targets. We still have deliverables. But it's a bit different now. And knowing that the achievers in the team need to have that sense of accomplishment at the end mm. of the day yeah. was critical for me as the team leader to know what they needed. They needed to be given additional, um, wow. smaller uh, objectives that they can achieve. And they, may, they set their own objectives, but I ask them to formalize objectives that way that they don't not necessarily usually do but formalize smaller objectives to give them that list of things that they can work through and that they can feel wow I've, I've i've achieved something today even though i've been working at home i have achieved and that was the you know that was that was important that's just one example of where uh knowing their strengths and understanding their strengths uh, means a lot. Another one of our team members, actually also two, are relators. And I think it's going to be very difficult for them to be isolated from the office environment. You know, to be uh, maybe in an environment where there are fewer people, just in, you know, in one case it's just uh, a mom with two kids, and in another case it is, a, you know, a, a, a person with only one person sharing the, his space. But they all have, they both have this, this relator aspect, and they need that sense of uh, uh, community, in, in a sense, that the office environment gives. And so what we just do is we have, we have, t we have a team at 10, which is just our, our daily team meeting. And there we just make sure that we have video on. And before we get to work, we just chat. We just, everyone just kind of debriefs about what happened mm -hmm. yesterday and what happened this morning. And, you know, everyone just gets to, to vent a little bit, to complain what they want to complain about, share the stories from their days and their challenges and their challenges with family and kids and so forth, but also share, share the stories of how they are starting to feel more relaxed, how they are coming to terms with a new way of working. So we have that debrief session and the relators immediately feel more connected to, to the rest of the team again. And, uh, you know, in that sense, it's beautiful to know that to know, to be aware of, of the fact that some people need this and we need to plan it in the way that we engage as a team. Snora, it's uh, what you're saying is, is giving me, it's giving me goosebumps and I, and I feel rather emotional um, when, I, when I think about the support that you're giving uh, your team through the knowledge of, of these, you know, of these strengths. So it's, uh, it, it's, it's amazing. Um, well, well done. I'm I'm so, I'm so so happy to hear that. So.